Right on cue when you have five or six passes and you get one from eight to ten feet, can't get it to roll. Coach thought they might have had some tired legs after playing all those games uh, consecutively in that week, but there you see a nice up and under there for you on Monroe. It's another when a new tooth comes in, it doesn't push the other one out from the top. It comes in behind it and pushes it forward. You know. Lost it, and now Louisiana Tech trying to get it in the front court. This is Worm. Worm, not much of a scorer. Let's see if she can get her presence going inside. Three ball up, three ball in. That's the first one of the game. Well, that's a good hustle there by Manuel as well to keep it alive. And a three. Got it. Had no made three-pointers through the first six games of the season. She's taken two tonight and hit them both. An eight-point lead for the Warhawks. The biggest advantage is now cut to six and could be cut to five with the old-fashioned three-point play opportunity. The possession never got inside the three-point line on that. Uh, the ball never got inside on that possession, and that's ULM making Louisiana Tech pay with Ja'Kayla Johnson hitting the short fall back. Boy, what a tough shot that was. Yep. Body and these last two possessions have both been forces by Bradford. This is Harris. She'll take a three. Another rebound collected. It's Bradford, and she scores, and she's fouled. Caitlin Manuel will come in at the next whistle for the Warhawks. Oh, beautiful backdoor cut. You try to compensate, and you shoot it over the rim and don't touch anything. And you've only used seven seconds yeah, in the shot no, clock. No need to rush. It's a four-point game. Oh, a beautiful cut, an anticipation pass. Robertson wants it, puts her backside into the defender. That defender rises and blocks it, rejected by Harris. There's time, but Louisiana Tech just needs to string two buckets together, yeah. two possessions. See if you can find one. You haven't had one in three and a half minutes. Find one. There it is. And, and a foul. Took it right at her on the inside against Harris. That's their third. 5% free throw shooter can pull this lead down another point. 90 seconds to play. Oh, what a big shot. Time ticking away. Nativi is able to power it in from the left. She is responsible for the last four, five, six, eight, nine, ten points. Morris gets the fadeaway jumper to go from the baseline. Morris does. It skids off the rim and a rebound by Harris. She's played so well as, in addition, Harris. And that's going to do it. ULM dribbles it out and wins in this building for the first time in a long time.